So starting the test drive in this Blazer RS, pretty similar powertrain that's been available since they brought back the Blazer, specifically in the RS trim level, getting that nine speed automatic made it with the 3.6 liter V6. Still plenty of power, just no turbocharger, but I'd like to see a Blazer SS model I might have said this before in previous reviews of different trim levels. I would love to see a turbocharged V6 or a V8 option in one of these. It would just be cool to see. This has pretty good power for a Blazer. I should say for the Blazer. The two liter turbo is a pretty good option too. The 2.5 that they offered when these first came out, the four cylinder, didn't like that at all. It got the job done in terms of fuel economy, but if you ever needed to give it, if you ever need to accelerate, I should say, you were just straining that engine. But I'm in the snow and ice mode. That's why I was driving weird. Didn't even realize. I have it in sport mode now. No one's behind me. I'm gonna give myself a little space. I'm gonna give it a, a little punch. So in sport mode, you're gonna rev a little hotter. So that did a lot more than I wanted it to, which is fine. But we're gonna put it into the tour mode and then activate, I skipped over it. Activate the cruise control here. Now this knob is a little fishy and I've noticed this again in prior reviews of the Blazer. It just, uh, I don't like it. It's very easy to not get what you want. Let me put it that way. But in terms of fuel economy, let's see if we can get over here. That's showing us what we're getting. And then our instant fuel economy is right at 45, 46 miles per gallon as we go downhill here. But I expect you would get a little bit better than the numbers the EPA quotes for this, especially on longer journeys where maybe you're around 65, 70 miles an hour, especially around 55 or 60 if you're taking a, a two lane highway. You'll definitely see better fuel economy numbers. But I just, I like how this drives just from the gas pedal feel, the brake pedal feel especially, and just the steering. Now there's tons of competition when it comes to the two row SUV space. The biggest ones I think are gonna be the Nissan Murano, the Toyota Venza, and then the Ford Edge especially. I feel like that was a, uh, I feel like the Ford Edge is what I think about from 07 to probably, heck, I guess 2020 when this first came out, that was really the big two row SUV that could push the limits in terms of a monthly payment if you had it specced out enough, especially with the ST trim. And that's kind of where this Blazer kind of comes into play, in my opinion. Just the size, what's offered, and just what it's meant to do. You have a naturally aspirated V6 for the most part. That's not meant to get super great gas mileage. It's just meant to get about average. So around 24, 25, 26 miles per gallon highway. Of course, the Ford Edge has since down, basically tried to take away from the V6 and just put a turbo four in everything, including the ST. Whereas you still have a two liter turbo four for the Blazer and then the V6 for the, the higher trims. But again, that's why I kind of want to see a V8. I want to see something to compete with the Edge ST because that's still kind of a performance beast compared to this V6 here. But especially for this price point, how this one's equipped, 48,000 or under 48,000 is pretty good. Very good, I think, just compared to what you would get out of a Ford Edge. And then the Vens and the Murano really just don't compare, I think, in that aspect, even though they're both two row SUVs that are meant to be a non-mom car. I feel like the Blazer and the Edge, they just have more of a presence to them. They're meant to be like a, 
a small, I guess a mid-sized SUV hot rod. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Chevrolet Blazer in the RS trim level.